Hello and welcome to my treadmill once again. Now today we're going to do part two of the treadmill versus outdoor test that I did earlier a couple of weeks ago. So I'll link into my first video. Now in the first video I only actually ran on the treadmill at 0% and I was trying to compare how that felt to running outdoors. Now this time I'm going to run at 1% and 2% on the treadmill and then pop outside just to have a comparative check. Now don't forget this is all as a result of a study by Andrew Jones and Jonathan Douse in 1996 where they had runners running at 10.5, uh, 12.0, 13.5, 15.0, 16.5 16 and 18.0 kph uh, both indoors and outdoors to see how they compare. And then in their study, they found that at 1% uh, at 13.5k or 7.11 uh, or 7.09 per mile, that's the point at which the 1% kicked in. Now, my first test, I didn't really find that. I found that it was kind of similar at all um, at 0% to outdoors. So I'm going to just going to ver re verify that test today by running at 1% at uh, 10 and a half for two laps of the Watopia track. And then I'll uh, raise the incline to 2%. I'll check my power and my heart rate. Then we'll pop outside, do the same thing on a little circuit around my block, which is also about half a mile. And I come in and do some more speeds. Um, and we'll do as many speeds as we can until uh, I drop or it gets dark or something like that. Or you just run, run off to have your tea or Daisy wants a biscuit, something like that. Okay, so I hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, in these very difficult times and you're able to do some running if it's not a treadmill or run your local um, neighborhood. So we'll get started now on this treadmill run for 10 and a half K and uh, we'll report back later. Okay, bye. Right, so coming up to the end of our 800 meters at 1% at 10 and a half KPH or 911 minutes per mile or 5.42 per K. So okay, we've just come into the end of 800 meters of 10.5 kph at 2%. So we'll, we'll take a split on my goal. I'm in here and head outside to do this pace. Right, there we go. Oh yeah, oh, 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 oh. keep the dogs off. Yeah. Now I'm just running on the treadmill at a different uh, incline then I'm running around the block. See how they compare, part two of the experiment. Okay, so I've come outside now onto my road to do this uh, run around the block. So I've done 10.5 kph for 800 meters at 1%. Had a little rest to get the heart rate stabilizing down again for about two or three minutes and then did the same again at 2%. So I'm now gonna run around the block at that speed, which is about a 9.0, about a 9.10, something like that pace on my Garmin, which I have to the nearest five seconds. So when I did this last time, I got this pace totally run and ran way too fast. So this pace outside should feel, actually feel pretty easy. So I really did need to keep this controlled and uh, for a good comparison. Right, so I'll get on with that and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, the run done at uh, 10 and a half kph outside. It was felt so slow. I was almost having to feel like I was having to walk actually. So that heart rate must have been lower than on the treadmill. So we'll check that out later. So on to the next one now, 12 kph, which is more of a standard easy pace for me around about eight minute miles okay see you later bye okay coming towards the end of my eight meters at 12.0 kph or 802 a mile at a one percent treadmill incline oh i can feel this already right this is 12.0 or two percent so this is a be about what i would say probably a good 13 and a half maybe equivalent of See my heart rate already is shot up to mid 120s. So coming to the end of the 12.0 kph run at 8.02 pace or five minutes kilometer at two percent. Average heart rate was around 126, 127, I think by the looks of it. And this is actually quite hard work for the relative to the pace I'm getting. Okay, so back on the street again, get ready for my next outdoor run. <coughs> uh, this is going to be 12 kph. Now that uh, last treadmill one at 2% was quite hard work. My heart rate was uh, around about 126, 127. And I wouldn't expect to get that heart rate anywhere near that. It was just a casual eight minute mile run for half a mile. Probably would be under 120 most of the time. So my heart rate now is 87. I've just walked up to get a bit of a little run into this one so I get the right pace ready. 
and um right okay we'll see you later everyone's on it okay bye okay so running on the back straight of my block as it were and i'm actually going too fast actually this was really easy so it's just interesting already tell already that uh one percent and two percent on the treadmill so far do seem somewhat harder we're coming to a slightly uphill bit though so i'll probably equate this to the eight minute mob time I stop in about a few minutes okay bye okay the 12 kph one done outside I got that about 750 pace but that felt really easy I was having to walk up that last hill it felt so compared to that field on the treadmill that felt so much easier I think it was just because it's just slightly more airy outside I've got both my fans on uh, in the in the uh, in the cabin and the door open still feels that 12 kph at two percent was quite hard work right see you later so coming up to 800 meters at 13.5 kph or 709 minutes of my bar pace at a one percent treadmill incline park rates in the low 130s average about 103 pretty steady actually right there's our line so a lot of people actually run permanently at two percent so are they just way fitter than me i wonder and I feel like I'm climbing now. I feel like I'm actually having enough to raise my knees um, like you wouldn't do on the flat outside, of course. Yeah, heart rate's climbing. It's already what's got to where we were at 1%. percent i not just, I think it's 200 yet. This is harder than I was working for in the whole marathon, apart from the very end bit. Final straight at 13.5, 2% incline, and that's a 709 pace. And my heart rate here is really high. That's sort of in almost a threshold speed. Right, there's our marker. Okay, so we've done our 13.5 on the treadmill at 1% and 2%, and I must say that was rather hard. At the end of that uh, 2%, my heart rate was up to 140, which you think is rather low, but considering my max is 160, that's boarding on threshold pace for any run for 800 meters <laughs> of that speed. So we can now do the 13 and a half outdoor run around my blocks, obviously at ground level as it were. And I was expecting this to feel somewhat easier. So I just need to dial into a 70, it's the nearest five seconds, a 710 pace. I think it's exactly 709. Right, so let's get going and see you later. Bye. Okay, the 13 and a half KPH one down, which is about 710 pace uh, to the nearest five seconds. I felt quite easy, although I'm a bit dead leg for the actual treadmill running. So that definitely felt easier. I think I'll look at that in the heart rate and had a quick glimpse at it and it was way lower. So. I think we'll do one more set at 15 kph because I think any faster than the treadmill is going to be really tough. So right, let's get on with it. I'm now back on the treadmill, about to start the 15 kph one at 1%. It's a nice bit of fan, it needs to cool me down. But I think this is going to be interesting how high my heart rate will get. I'm expecting it to get into the low 140s based on the last couple of ones. And this should feel probably quite difficult. Uh, I don't feel too bad at the moment. I've been running quite well. Did an 1802 time trial in the, na the virtual national road relays last Saturday. It's Friday today, six days later. So, but this isn't really a session. This is just trying to do some experiments and controlling the pace. Right, so I'm rounding up now to the home straight on uh, track. Here's my little trip sheet of all the paces. Okay, so right, that's uh, as we're now hitting the track, we'll get this up to 15 kph and we'll work this on out. See you later, bye. Right, this is the tough one then, 15 kph. Not in there yet, right, at 1%. I don't think I've actually done this before. Okay, so last little bit, 15 kph, 626 a mile, 1% incline. Heart rate low, 140s. That's pretty hard for me. Right. Okay. So maybe I'm just seeing my treadmill decelerating. So I'm rounding up to about 100 meters to go to start my next and last treadmill incline one. So it'd be 15 kph at uh, 2%. I'm not going to do the 16 and a half or the 18 because I think this is going to be too hard. I'm going to go straight out and do the last 15k outside and hopefully it'll be easier than the one I'm about to do. So the 1% I was averaging 
I think above 140 heart rate, I would say, when I look at it, and it got up to 144 at the end. So I'm expecting this to get probably heading towards 150 at the end. So right, let's uh, let's get this going. This is about my half marathon sleep, but only two percent incline. Already, I'm feeling this. This is pretty much flat. Out. Okay, coming to the end of the 15 kph run, the two percent, 626 pace small pace, four minutes per K, and this is hard, I'm pretty much that race effort here, and struggling, that is this line, now, oh, man, 152 heart rate, right there, so before it jumps down. Hello, so I've come back indoors now. This is actually quite a long time after I did these runs, so it took a while to get all these stats together. So let's just recap what we actually did. So we had did four sets of runs, starting off at 10.5 kph, going through from to 12 kph, 13.5 kph, and 15 kph. Now in this video, I did uh, running on Zwift on the treadmill at 1% uh, for about a half a mile, two laps of the track then did a little rest for about a lap jog, come walk, and then did 2%, and then a few minutes, went outside, ran my block, which is also near enough half a mile, tried to run at the, the same speed. Um, now, that was, the, that was the B ones here. Now, the A ones from the first video, when I ran at 0% on Zwift and outdoors. So I put all these stats together into the same spreadsheet to see what we can see. Now, I think in my first video, as you remember, I said that I thought that uh, Zwift at 0% or the treadmill rather uh, and outdoors were pretty similar. Um, and um, when I looked at it now at 1% and 2%, I think it's also confirmed that it's definitely harder at 1% and 2%. So let's go through each of the four sets of data here that we've got here. So in this latest set, um, we ran at 10.5 uh, kph or 9.12 minutes per mile. And for that section, I got a heart rate average of 109 with 113 maximum. And if you see when I went to 2%, it increased the difficulty by five beats, went to 114 and 117. Now, when I went outside, even though I actually run this uh, leg a bit too quick, um, should have been a actually run at 11 kph uh, or 8.47 miles. So it was a bit quick, but even despite that, the heart rate average went down to 107. Um, so if we then go on to the next set, and if you actually look, um, those heart rate averages are pretty similar to what I got the first time round. Uh, we're also, um, although the first time round, I actually ran the outdoor one too quick. So, uh, but you can see that the 108 average heart rate was a bit less than I got at the higher, um, inclines so moving on to 12 kph where i did this test a bit better so this time around at one percent we got we got there a, a 120 uh heart rate average and uh when we went to two percent it was to be harder at one two six and yet when we went outdoors we got that pacing more or less right just maybe a fraction fast that went down to one one nine and don't forget uh, i was also a bit tired from having run a bit harder just then so moving on to 13 and a half kph, um, again, we see a similar pattern where it was 132 at 1%, 134 at 2%, but it went down to 129 when it went outdoors. Uh, and the final one, which is actually quite a difficult one in terms of the actual effort required. So here I had 140 average heart rate at 1%. Uh, went up to 142 at 2%, which actually peaked right at the end at a uh, heart rate of 152. And actually felt towards the end of that one, I was almost like going at race effort. And when I went outside, um, still quite hard work at that. That's, um, that's a 6.26 mile, uh, exactly a 20 minute 5K pace. Um, but still my average heart rate did go down despite the fact I'd run two hard efforts um, previously. So I think for me on my Techno Gym My Run treadmill, it does rather show that uh, for me that 0% is the best um, is the best incline setting, and that my speed on my My Run treadmill is also pretty similar to what I get outdoors. 
Now, if you look at some of the other metrics, uh, power is not quite so good in this one because you can't get an automatic detection of power by the incline. There is a way that if you use the Stride app, you can do that. But I just put these um, powers down to just verify that I was getting similar things. So you can see there on, even though I do these on different days, the 0% uh, and the 1% and the 2% efforts were all the same because uh, you can't detect the incline on the treble, as I said. And um, just making sure that these powers outside were of a of a similar range. I think it might have been a bit more windy on the, on the second day. So some of these powers outdoors were just a fraction higher, maybe. But, you know, near enough within experimental error, I think, to say that they were pretty much the same. Uh, again, my cadence was a lot higher outside. I saw that the first time. Um, some about six, six steps per minute higher. So I need to look into why that is. Uh, ground contact time, I think they were fairly similar actually, um, outdoors to indoors, maybe a bit less outdoors. And the vertical oscillation, that was also noticeably lower outdoors um, as well. So yeah, the general uptake on this one is that I rather have debunked for me on my treadmill uh, this uh, this uh, myth that you need to run at 1%. Now, there may be other treadmills where that is perfectly a, a good thing to do. And even some people I know run at 2%. Uh, equally, I know that some people seem to get rather flattering speeds when, on their treadmills compared to what they can do outside. So I think it's always important uh, if you run a lot on a treadmill to uh, do this sort of analysis and be comfortable that your own treadmill is working for you in terms of what you want to use it for. So I think this, these two uh, videos have shown to me that my, my treadmill is pretty good at replicating what I can do outside, and uh, which gives me good confidence that I can use it in the future on Zwift um, with, to good effect. So I hope you found this interesting and um, look forward to uh, seeing you on the next one. Bye. Daisy, what do you think of all this treadmill noise? You interested? No. Come on. Come on, here we come. Daisy likes to be uh, what we call roughed. You might think this is uh, not exactly what cats like, but they do seem to. Anyway, so this is probably interrupting my um, recovery, isn't it? Come on, Daisy, we'll see you later. Bye.